Hi, my name is Michelle, and I'm an expert health coach and personal trainer. I have my doctorate in physical therapy, and I'm also a yoga teacher. So today, I'm going to teach you four stretches for your quads. So if you're feeling tight in the front of your legs, those are your quads, and we're going to stretch those out. So you have your rectus femoris that runs along the front of your leg. That is one part of your quad. So that is one muscle we're definitely going to focus on. So these stretches are inspired from physical therapy and yoga. So if you're looking for a great stretch, follow along with me. If you have an injury, go ahead and get it checked out first. So we're going to start in standing. And if you want to hold on to a wall or something, you can. So we're going to bring one knee up. We're going to bend that knee and squeeze those legs together. And you can do this right along with me. So when you're doing this stretch, you want to make sure that your knees come together. So if your leg is out here, you're not going to feel that stretch in the front. So if you need a little boost on this stretch, sort of squeeze your glutes and push your hips forward and you'll feel it stretch a little bit more. Good. And let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So bring the other foot up and remember to bring those knees close together. Good, so when we stretch, we typically want to hold our stretches for at least 20 to 30 seconds. You can always do a little bit extra. Good, I know I can feel that along my quad. Good, and go ahead and release that leg. Onto our next stretch, we're going to do a crescent lunge. So one foot's going to be in front, one is behind, and we're just going to come into a lunge like this, our back heels off the ground. So make sure you keep your chest up nice and tall. You don't want any arching in your low back. So we want to keep that nice and tall. And you should feel it pretty intensely right at the hip. So this one you're going to feel a little more at the hip versus along that whole quad. So we want to use our breath here. So take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Just maybe sink into that stretch a little bit more. So our core is engaged so that we're not putting a strain on our low back. Good, take one more deep breath. Good, and go ahead and step those feet together and step your other foot back. So adjust yourself here. Make sure your chest is up nice and tall. We're not arching in that low back. Our core is engaged to protect it. Our front knee should be right over that ankle. And take a nice deep breath in. And on that exhale, maybe sink a little bit lower. Good. Do that for another breath. So we want to use our breath when we're stretching to help release and loosen up those muscles. So if we're breathing fast or holding it, our muscles just aren't going to move as well. We're going to be fighting that stretch. Good. From here, go ahead and bring your hands down to your mat and drop your back knee on the floor and untuck that back toe. So we're coming into a low lunge. So you're also going to feel this right in that back hip at the top. Good. So make sure that front knee is over the ankle and that it's not over your toe. So take a nice deep breath here. And again, just use that exhale to relax those muscles and go into that stretch a little bit more. So you definitely don't want to overstretch. So make sure you listen to your body and that you're not feeling pain. Just a nice stretch. Good. And go ahead and step that front foot back. And then we're going to bring that other foot forward. Good. And just adjust yourself. So that front knee's over the ankle and your back knee's on the floor. Come back to that breath. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale to sort of sink into those hips. Good. So you want to make sure that not only are you holding your stretches long enough, but you also want to stretch out every day, especially if you're looking to gain some flexibility. All right, we're going to do one more stretch on the floor. So go ahead and bring that front foot back and go ahead and come onto your side on your mat or your floor. And you can lay your head down or you can prop your head up. So just like we did in standing, we're going to bend this top leg. Our bottom leg is straight. Grab that ankle and go ahead and try to squeeze those legs towards each other, pulling that leg back. 
engaging those abs so you're not arching your low back. So almost like we're pushing our hips forward. Good, and continue with your deep breaths here. Use that exhale to just relax those muscles and to make sure that you're not fighting the stretch. Go ahead, take one more breath. Go ahead, release that leg and roll on over to your other side. So our bottom leg is straight. And we're gonna bend that top knee, grabbing that ankle. Good, so making sure our legs may not touch, but we wanna make sure that this leg is in alignment with our hips. So we don't want it up, nor do we want it down. Good, so take a few deep breaths here. Another great time to stretch is when your body is warm. So maybe if you have worked out, walked, maybe cleaned your house, anytime your body is warm, those muscles are a little looser and will stretch a little bit more. Good, take one more full, slow, deep breath, using that exhale to relax those muscles. and go ahead and release that muscle. Good job. So those were four stretches that you could do to stretch out those quads. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And please feel free to join my Facebook group community for nutrition, fitness, and the mind-body connection. Also, if you are looking for workout classes or a personalized plan, look in the description below. Hope you have a great day.